Almost every fish keeper I know wants their aquarium to be perfect and gorgeous all the time. They don't want a bunch of algae all over the glass, and they certainly don't want a bunch of nasty stuff laying all over the substrate. Well, unfortunately, there's some fish in this hobby that make that near impossible to do. So I've decided to put together my list of what I think are the five biggest aquarium slobs. And the interesting thing is all five of the fish that we're going to talk about on this list, I personally own. And three of them are in the same tank. What's that say about me? I love starting this list off with the common Placostomus because it is the exact opposite of what so many people buy them for. I know you've heard many times, my tank is nasty. I gotta get one of those fish that's gonna clean up all this mess. And you know they're thinking about the common Placostomus, which is hilarious because that is absolutely not what these fish do. Common plecos are catfish, and they're constantly looking for the next high-protein thing to eat, and if anything gets in their way, they'll just move it and keep on going. These fish are much more powerful than you think and can be absolutely destructive to decorations in the tank or even the filtration. If you've ever kept one of these in a tank with a sponge filter, it's not uncommon to find the filter moved all over the tank and even disconnected from the air. This usually doesn't happen till they're a pretty good size, but it happens nonetheless. There's also the fact that these fish are big eaters and big poopers. And if you're gonna keep one, you have to get used to seeing all that poop laying around. It can get out of control. The other thing with these fish is most of them are pretty antisocial. They'll just sit in one place all day, but once everyone goes to bed, that's when they'll do their damage. This is why when you wake up in the morning and look at your tank, it looks like a bomb went off in it. Common plecos are also easily spooked, and when they get spooked, look out! It could be something as simple as you walking up to the tank and all of a sudden it'll be like a huge explosion. That's your pleco getting spooked and darting off to somewhere where he feels safe. I'm someone that loves common plecos. I have one with two other fish we're gonna talk about in my 360 gallon tank. And believe me when I tell you, I struggle to keep that tank clean. If you're someone that believes these fish are cleaner fish and they're gonna solve all your problems, you just need to remember that. And also to all of the pet store owners or employees that sell these fish to fish keepers, telling them this is gonna solve all your messy problems, shame on you. Remember a while back when I said, I'm gonna do my best to include Oscars in every single list that we do? Here we are. Anyone who knows me knows about my love of Oscars. They've been one of my favorite fish since 1993, and I don't see that ever changing. But if we're being honest with each other, Oscars are big fat slobs. These fish are big eaters, and they don't only eat a lot, they also waste a lot. If you watch them eat, they grind the food up into little pieces and half of it gets spit right back out again. It's really cute, but it's also a huge hassle if you're trying to keep the tank tidy. Usually when you have fish that'll eat like that, you keep smaller fish in the tank with them so that they can go around and pick up all of the crumbs that your big fish spit out. But Unfortunately, that's not really going to work with Oscars because they have real big mouths and even bigger appetites. Oscars are also known for being quite the aquascapers, or should I say aquascape destroyers. Don't even think you're going to have some fancy aquascape with plants and rock formations. You gotta understand that an Oscars tank is decorated the way the Oscar wants it, not the way you want it. So between them being messy eaters and interior decorators, you can kiss your idea of having a fancy Oscar tank goodbye. But you know what? That's perfectly fine because they are just so adorable to keep and personable and beautiful and everything else. And I just gotta be honest, if you don't agree, you can go f Go 
goldfish are the most unanimously loved fish in this hobby, and most people that are thinking about getting an aquarium, it's goldfish that they picture in there. But even though they look like derpy little sweethearts, believe me when I tell you, they are huge mess makers. I could basically recycle everything I just said about Oscars and say the exact same thing about goldfish. Well, minus the eating smaller fish part. Goldfish are messy eaters, interior designers, and substrate excavators, just like Oscars. But there's something else about them. They are massive waste producers. I mean, all fish are waste producers, but uh, goldfish just take this to another level. I don't know how to explain it, and I don't know the science behind it. All I know is when I vacuum the gravel in my goldfish tank, it has way more brown nastiness in it than any other tank. I mean, it's like mud coming through the hose. I mean, you can't be mad at them though because they're just so daggone cute. I just want you to be aware that if you're gonna keep a goldfish tank, you're gonna be doing a lot of maintenance on it if you want to keep it looking nice. They're just not a set it and forget it fish. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to my newest obsession. I call them bikers, you might call them bichers, but whatever you call them, they're one of the most fascinating fish I've ever kept. But I gotta tell you, I've never done so much work as a fish keeper. They're big fish in a big tank with a bunch of other big fish. I mean, I knew I had my work cut out for me, but my God. Just like all the fish on this list and really all the fish in the hobby, bikers will eat pretty much nonstop and I gotta tell you, watching them eat is one of the most entertaining things I've ever experienced in this hobby. All fish are fun to feed, but these fish make it like an event. They'll push the food around and play with it for a while before they finally eat it. I've had times where I'm just sitting there watching them eat and they're pushing the food around like they do and just kind of playing with it. And then just when you think they're about to get it, one of the Oscars will swoop in and take the food. And I'm like, oh. But the downside to all of this entertainment is if they're always eating, you know what they're also doing. They're also pooping. And these fish's poops are unlike anything I've ever seen. It's like brown spaghetti or Tootsie Rolls all over the place. And there's really not much that can be done about it. These fish spend a lot of time laying on the floor of the tank, so you can't really have harsh gravel substrate because it might hurt their bellies. And Sam doesn't really do a good job hiding poop, so if you have a biker tank, you're just gonna have to deal with poop rolling around all over the bottom. It just is what it is. African cichlids are the whole reason why we started this YouTube channel. KG Tropicals wasn't even a thing before Lisa and I were breeding these fish in our garage. And let me tell you, it was some of the happiest times I've ever had as a fish keeper. But, one of the main rules to keeping African cichlids, particularly the three that come from Lake Malawi, is you need to keep a pretty good sized group of them if you want to control aggression. If you have a bunch of fish, what does that mean? Well, you're going to be constantly cleaning up their mess. It's not that these fish are particularly messy, it's just that you need to keep a group of them to keep things copacetic in the tank. I mean, these are absolutely gorgeous fish and the closest thing you'll find to the colors that you'll get in salt water, but it comes at a price. Overstocking an aquarium is one of the most common causes of problems in that aquarium. It takes a lot of food to keep a large group of fish fed, and if you're putting a lot of food in there to feed all those fish, things get pretty nasty pretty fast. African cichlids will never be called a lazy man's fish because Anyone that gets into them knows they're highly active, they need to be put in groups, they need to be fed well so they don't kill each other. All of these facts equal a tank that you'll be putting in work on. A lot of work. But don't let that scare you. Like I said, these fish have changed my life and they hold a special place in my heart and they're in there permanently. They're never going anywhere. I love these fish so much and you will too. Just understand that if you're gonna keep them, you're gonna be doing a lot of work. 
So there you go, five fish that are sure to make a mess in your aquarium, make things look all nasty, and also make you do a lot more work than you should have to do. But you know what, that's okay with me because I love all of these fish, I own all of these fish, and to be honest, I could easily just reorganize things with this video and title it, My Top Five Favorite Fish. But no, you need to know that these are great fish, it's just that, they're gonna make you work harder and they are a challenge to keep them in a nice aquarium. But you know what? I love them all so much. It is very much worth all of that extra work. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And until I see you again, take care.